Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, I tell you, this is the place to be today. It is lovely and warm in here. So today's job is to try and get up some more planters for putting stuff in. So this is an old section of gutter and in the end I have just uh, cut some pieces of wood, one for each end. Uh, just to the profile here, I just used a couple of screws. That's it from above. So what I'm doing just now is I'm just putting two screws in there and two screws further along here. There we go, you can see the end part there. And underneath it, I have just put two small blocks here. And that's just to raise it up a touch so it doesn't fill this rope. I'm just going to drill this next bit. Screw it on the side. <laughs> That's what it looks like from here. So that'll be great. Get some soil on that and get some stuff growing. It's now the middle of March and veg is doing absolutely brilliant here. Um, so I've been eating the spinach and the kale uh, right throughout the winter. And um, you'll see the kale here and also up here is starting to go to seed. I've just been picking some giant spinach here. Then this was the one that I planted in autumn time. So we're going to have that um, with some peanut satay and some chicken. The Swiss chard is looking lovely as well. Again, I've been using that throughout the winter months and as well as some more spinach and some more chard here. I'm delighted with my wee seedlings that are starting to grow already. So over here, uh, these two columns on the right are uh, perpetual spinach. So those are doing well. And over here on the bottom right, that is Swiss chard. This one on the right hand side is Pak Choi and broccoli over on the left here. So these wee kind of seedling pods that I was trying, uh, those seem to be working very well. Um, so that's purple broccoli and from the date on that, so those have taken about two weeks to germinate in the polycrop here and those seem to be doing much better than the other seedlings that are just in this compost. So that's interesting to note. In the hanging planters, you can see here that the spring onions are starting to come up. Those are looking good. Parsley's doing great. And more spring onions up here that are starting to sprout as well. And finally up here, we've got, I planted uh, kind of four different things up here. And what it seems to be doing best or anything so far is the green salad. So that's looking happy and hopefully the others will start to germinate too and I'll have some some other types of salad. Well oh, there's a couple couple of seedlings down this end. I'm just starting to get these uh, bits of board lifted that have been on over the winter and also I'm just going to lift this cardboard or the remnants of it too and that will get put into my compost bin. So this has been really successful. You know, a couple of these sprouts here and there, but other than that, uh, the whole area looks great. Uh, no weeds. So the next task after getting the rest of this off is to spread some of this lovely seaweed uh, onto the soil uh, and that will get some nice nutrients and fertilise it. Uh, ready for when my seedlings are ready to plant out. On these other beds is where I've already put the seaweed a wee while ago, so those could do with a wee bit of weeding here and there. And here are the garlic over here, so those are looking very good. And in this other line here, that 
is the onion starting to come up. That was quite hard work, uh, but that's all the cardboard and the boards lifted and that's it covered in some of the seaweed. So just let that rot down for a while, uh, much like in this plot here. Put this seaweed on oh, probably six weeks ago, maybe more than that. Uh, and on this plot, I've just got a few more things to uh, pull out uh, whenever the stuff for spring is getting planted. Um, but I'm quite keen to keep these just at the moment because we're still eating some kale and chard for our dinner. And the end plot here, I have to do the same thing, so lift that timber. Uh, lift the cardboard and then get the seaweed on top. I've finished doing all my seaweed outside on my veg plot so I've rinsed all of this and I'm just going to get it spread across the top of the soil here uh, along the length of this bed. There we are. That's all the seaweed in. So that should be a good job, that should make sure that it's all nicely fertilised.